Ice Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How you all doing today? Today I've got a Maytag Neptune dryer. And it's an electric dryer. So the complaint was it, it died. So whatever that means. We'll soon find out. And so this one actually has this plastic thing here is the thermal cutout, and we'll be testing it here in a minute. We see that the blower is still intact. And I did not disconnect any of the wires. I was able to pull the front portion off without disconnecting any of the wires. So the next thing we're gonna do is check the thermal cutoff. But before we do that, I'm gonna tell you how I got the front cowl off where the front portion off. Okay, so this front panel here, after you've taken the four screws off the sides and the door, you'll see underneath here there's a clip here that holds the top piece in place. Then there's some other screws along the side here that have to come out in order to take that off. Of course, there's your model number. And a reminder, this video is for informational purposes only. Working on appliances can be hazardous. On the front portion, you see Here, here, and on this side we see the screw holes for the hinges for the door. And you can see that the door has these little sort of fingers or forks that sit in there. So you have to lift the door up in order to pull it out. So once you've taken these two, these four screws off the front here, and then you'll be able to take that front portion off. And then once you've taken that off, you need to take uh, the screws off the front here and here to take these other pieces off. Good. Of course, the unit is unplugged, and there doesn't seem to be any loose wires. Okay, so this this dryer actually will come on and run, so the brain is good on this one, theoretically, and it has the thermal cutout on the top of the heat element as well. And we could check the heat element with a meter to make sure it's good. The main problem with this is there's something, it seems like something is stuck in the blower, possibly between the between the blower wheel and the back of the blower housing. There's possibly something stuck in between there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is take this front panel off, see if I can see anything in there, and we'll go from there. So this one actually, I was looking at this motor, 
and the motor looks a little bit cockeyed the way it's sitting. It's sitting a little bit that way. I have no idea how this could have gotten this way. But the problem is, there's nothing behind this. And if I push the motor forward a little bit, then it makes this free. So what I'll do is I'll just take a crowbar or something and bend this motor mount in slightly so it takes the pressure off the back of that lower housing and then it won't make a horrible noise. Okay, so just put a little bend in that motor and now the blower sprint spins freely. So what may have happened is there's a very big lo load of clothes in there, caused the motor mount to tweak a little bit. Could possibly be the reason. It wasn't loose or anything in the mount. But yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that thing happen. Okay, got the door back on. Give it a try. Okay, that's pretty crazy. Now I don't want to. Okay, so basically, we do have the tech sheet, which comes in handy uh, to troubleshoot, but what I did is I just pulled this back panel off here and pushed all the connections in, particularly that, that ribbon uh, cable that goes to the control board. and. Uh, Seems to work fine. Let's just pop it back together and see if it's going to work again. So what I did was, I put it into service mode and to try and check these, I don't know what it did, but it, the light started blinking. I couldn't really figure out what was going on, but all the panels, panel lights blinked and it cleared the time. Now this is, uh, 
little bit odd here because it went from like 30 minutes to one minute here in about two minutes. But anyway, it's working now. 